Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look into spinning top candles. These are sweet and small candles, very decent looking. And why I am saying decent looking? Because their real body are uh, small and they look pretty decent in the chart. So without wasting time, let's go and let's understand what all information they convey. Okay, so the spinning tops can be both a green candle or a red candle. As we already know that green candle means a bullish candle and a red candle means bearish candle. So if we look at this presentation, we have both a green bullish spinning top and red bearish spinning top. Let's see what information they convey. So if we look closely, we see that the opening price is around this place and the closing price is around here. That means there is not a lot of gap between opening and closing price. Similarly, if we read, look at the red spinning top, we notice the same thing, whereas the opening price is somewhere around here and closing price is somewhere around here and the gap between the opening and the closing price is not much. And that is why their real body is kind of short. For some time, if we ignore the shadow below and we just focus on the shadow above, we notice that the bulls try to pull the price achieve a height till here but we are not able to sustain and finally the price comes down and closes over here. Similarly, if we ignore the upper shadow and look at the lower shadow, we can assume that the bears tries to pull the price down all the way till here, touched a low till here but we are not able to sustain and the price reverted back and closed somewhere around here. Similarly, if we look at the bearish spinning top, we will notice that the market opens here, the bulls comes into picture, they try to push the price higher but we are not able to sustain. The bear come into picture, they try to push the price lower but they were not able to sustain and that is why uh, the, the trading session ended here and there is a very little gap between opening price and closing price. One thing to notice is that in the spinning top, the upper shadow and the lower shadow should be equal in length. So what information they actually convey? The information that is conveyed by the spinning top is that there is indecision in the market and the spinning top alone cannot be used to make a trading decision or to take a position. However, when it is combined with the um, other analytical tools and uh, a decision can be made. So let's jump into a chart and see if we can find some spinning top appearing and then uh, let's have a look how market behaved after that. Okay guys, so I have pulled the chart of Netflix. Uh, it's a one hour chart and we see that there are two spinning tops appearing in this chart. Let's have a look at this spinning top. We see that this has a small body and an upper shadow and a lower shadow. This indicates an indecision. However, based on this single spinning top, we cannot make a trading decision. In the next trading session, when we see a, a, a bullish momentum, we can go for a trade somewhere around its closing price and we can exit our trade when we see another red spinning top here. Again, this is a spinning top, a very good example. Um, and, and this indicates an end season. Uh, then in the next trading session, when we see the bearish moment, we could have taken our trade somewhere around here and see how it falls all the way down. So this is just an example of how we are uh, using uh, the spinning top into uh, our trading decision. Let's have a look at another example. Okay friends, here is another example of spinning top. I have taken uh, Z Entertainment as my uh, stock. This is a one hour chart. If you see, we have a spinning top appearing over here. It has a green real body and upper shadow and lower shadow are almost equal in length. So as I mentioned, we are not going to take our position based on appearance of just this single candlestick. We will wait for the next trading session. So in the next trading session, we see that we have a bullish momentum and this candles appear. So we will take uh, our position somewhere around here will keep our stop loss somewhere around here and we will wait and you see 
if we would have taken this position around here around 210 rupees then it comes down slightly and then it went all ahead till 215 rupees on the appearance of these two candles we can exit our trade and this is how you know we can have some money so friends this is how a spinning top candle can be used to take a position uh, in the next course we will learn about another candlestick dozy dozy is also uh, uh, reflect indecision in the market and dozy is also a simple candlestick to understand so that's it for now thanks a lot for your time guys have a good day